see if we can snag this guy. Hey, Ray! Hop in, buddy! Hop in! No, don't shoot me! Oh, you're a son of a bitch. Wow, well, I bet you're a horrible tipper anyway. Work for me. Dude, kid, how old are you? I have to know. Stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if a kid your age should be playing this game, actually. Oh, Jesus. My mommy said I could. Oh, well, hey, if your mommy so said man, so I was 10 and I could play Resident <laughs> Evil, and that was really scary for my time. Resident Evil's not scary. I'm just saying, when I'm I'm not if you're desensitized age, like you are. I'm not yeah, desensitized, yeah. you fucker. Yes, you are. Hey, desensitized isn't me. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Not an insult. Don't get offended what? by it, little kid. It's not an yeah. insult. It's okay. I I don't freak out when I see a dead body, so I mean it's it's fine. Wait, do you mean a dead body in real life? <laughs> well, I mean I'm in the military, so I'm not really, you know. So what uh, what branch of the military Let me are you guess. in? You're from the USA. Air Force. Oh, nice. I Brother should clarify, plays. I wasn't physically there. I got pictures sent to me because one of my friends, unfortunately, uh, died over there. How uh, how close w were you to your friend who uh, passed away? Uh, we went to basic training together, so we, we kind of had that bond. Yeah, for sure. Do you, do you know how he, how he went? Um, oh, you know, IED. The common thing that happens over there. Oh man, so you weren't around when when it happened? No, I was not. I was in Japan when it happened to my friend. Jesus, how 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 old was he? He was nineteen. Wow. Yep. Wow. I found out a really shitty way too. I mean, I was I was just eating breakfast in the dining facility, and every day or every I want to say every week they they uh, run a list of everyone that's unfortunately lost their life, and my friend was on that list, and I was like, oh wait, it's got to be another guy with the same name, and then nope, wasn't. Wow, but this was just... like two years ago, so I've I've come to terms with it. It happens, unfortunately. Yeah, that's. But anyway, yeah. we're playing Grand Theft Auto. Let's have fun. In a yes. fictional world. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm being shot by somebody. Don't <laughs> shoot me! How are you doing this evening, guy that just came in? Me? Yeah. Not too bad. Nice. I was in a really failed heist job, so that was. So you seem like a younger, limber fellow. I, I gotta ask you, just just out of curiosity, it's all anonymous and stuff. How about how many how many times like like how often do you fap? Like how many times a week? Like, be honest. There, Who are you asking? This is an open table. No, I'm asking you. I'm just curious. So what is this? Like, I don't know. Like, once, can... once a week? No three... different than... It all depends on the week. Really. Do, do you usually find, like, you, you fat more when you've had a hard week? Or or is it just more of, like, a boredom Oh, absolutely. Thing? Yeah. Hard Definitely... week, boredom. Yeah, definitely. When I'm off. actually entertained doing shit, I I don't think, oh hey, let's look at some porn. Right, exactly. It's always kind of like a well, there's nothing left to do, type of thing. Or you have to do tonight. Sometimes that work. Or you have to go to bed. Yeah, that's a good way to go to bed. All right, so so just switching gears here. What's uh what's what's the biggest crime you've ever committed? Just curious. 
if you've committed a crime, of course. But, you know, I feel like everyone's committed a crime at some point, whether it's, you know, speeding or running a red light or something like that. But you'd be surprised. Careful, to... and you ask that kind of question. I may ask my friend, what was the craziest thing you've ever done? He goes, I raped a girl. Yeah, uh, well, I mean, Did you know, like that's... a fucking cold, cold, cold fucking... And that's, that's horrible, yeah, look, and too. you should never rape someone if you have, you know, the option. Of course, you, you always have the sad truth is, though, so, is that that's actually a lot more common than people want to actually believe. I know, I know, that's why I'm always so fascinated when I hear people's answers. Like, everyone thinks answers. rape is, like, some back alley thing. So, hopefully neither of you guys have ever raped someone, but, uh, if there's, is there anything nah. else that, uh, you know, you'd like to get off your chest? I sold drugs at a club once. Probably because oh. I bought it, and then I thought, fuck, really don't want to actually do this. So then I sold it back to some other guy. <laughs> nice. What, uh, what kind of drugs? Bought it. Uh, I was, uh, ecstasy, so. Oh, okay. Why didn't you, uh, why didn't you go through with doing it? Oh, fuck, because, I don't, maybe I didn't want to do it. Like, like, I do it. I just didn't want to do it that night. I think something just changed and then I was just like, nah, I don't want to fuck the party tonight. Yeah, I just weren't feeling it, right? What's up? I was just asking him, like, you know, just following up on, like... He's asking us to reveal our dirty, dark secrets so that he can publish it in a book. GTA oh, Confessions. I, I, I wish I could do that, but I'm a, I'm a terrible writer, so... Probably wouldn't do a book. Maybe Maybe a YouTube video or something. What about you, Gate? What's your story? Yeah, same old, same old. Any hopes, dreams? Exactly. Have you ever been in love? <laughs> Dude, I'm fucking 40, yes. What was her name? Rebecca. Rebecca. How old were you when you knew the funny Rebe thing, Rebecca? The funny thing on that aspect is uh, we broke up mm, shit seven years ago. Uh, I'm now dating a 25 year old. So there are there some interesting things going on. Oh, there you go. You know, there's a uh, there's always new things to discover with with each relationship. Close the game, fat boy. So was Rebecca, like, was she kind of like the one that got away, or did she need to go? Oh, God, no, I, 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 seriously, if I could hire somebody and get away with it to kill her, I would. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. We've got a kid together, and we're in the middle of a custody battle. Oh, brutal. Yeah, but it's a tough situation, but you can kind of... I, it's too bad you can't just, like, keep the kid and, and ditch the baggage. In a perfect world. Is she, uh, is she, like, unfit to, to raise the kid, or is she just, you know, you just prefer to be with him? Uh, or... I wouldn't say that, but um, some of the stuff, um, her husband, who she married six months after we split up, Wow. It, 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 yeah, there's a whole lot of situation there. Wow. Why? Why? Why did you guys split up? Um, because I found her fucking somebody else. Oh shit. And I'm I'm guessing this is probably after you guys had the kid. Yup. Jesus. I take it the uh, the guy she was fucking isn't the guy that she married. Yep. Oh, it is. Okay. Who's, uh, since informed me I'm, I'm no longer able to talk to my son, which is just <laughs> so kind of wrong, but at the same time, just provides me more ammo, you know, for my lawyer, so. Holy shit. That's... 
That's fucking foo bar, man. Yeah. Life is what it is. Well, for what it's worth, man, I know we're just two strangers in a, in a big city called Los Santos, but I hope the uh, the whole custody thing hey. with your kid works out for you. Thank you. I appreciate that. What the f- Wow. I am so glad I'm recording this right now. Um. I should probably get out. At some point. Oh my god, this is amazing. Oh. Ah, oh, gee, Jesus.